everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiki. It is another glorious day in sunny Colorado and your guys' favorite, another How I Eat in a Day vlog. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. I'm at Plantiful Kiki on Instagram and on Facebook at the Plantiful Kiki page. I post lots of food and lifestyle inspiration there, lots of recipes that I don't have videos for here. So make sure you check me out there. And if you're not subscribed, of course, please subscribe. This helps me keep making videos videos for you guys. All right, so breakfast today was super simple. As you saw, this sweet potato with banana and flaxseed and some cocoa powder. Oh my gosh, like I could eat this every day. I've already eaten half of it and I forgot that I needed to make this part of the video. <laughs> so you can see half of my eaten breakfast and I've already drank almost all of my smoothie. So we're gonna head out on a beautiful hike this morning. You guys are gonna love seeing the scenery as you always do. And then I've got a bunch of chores to do around the homestead and I know you guys love seeing that you guys love to see what we have going on um, it's springtime in Colorado so we have a lot of work to do we've got to get the garden beds prepped we have to get trees prepped we're planting a ton in the orchard we're gonna be putting in a vineyard as well so I'm also gonna be answering some of your questions for a Q&A a get to know me segment you guys sent me in a bunch of questions that you have for me to get to know me better. So that should be fun. I'll do that for you guys as well too. lunch today I'm gonna have sweet potato and black beans and this is one of my favorite meals it's super lazy too I always have cooked sweet potatoes on hand and I always have cooked black beans but you can also use canned if you want so I've already heated this up and my beans are nice and hot too so I just like to top my sweet potato with beans of course lime and some cilantro you guys know like I'm obsessed with cilantro and then I'm gonna have a little avocado. So I'll just make these two little thin slices and this goes a long way. That way you get like a little bite of avocado in your whole dish. And you didn't have to like eat a ton of fat. But see, and that is just so little. It's not even like an eighth of an avocado. And then I love mango habanera hot sauce to top it off. This is one of my favorites. Yum. Okay, so with lunch, I try to have a humongous salad every day just to get in some fresh greens. And I have to say, like, I'm feeling really, really good eating all these fresh greens. And then I have all these mason jars that are full of my toppings for the week. Just makes it easier for me. And I probably will eventually change my toppings, you know, like switch them out for others. <laughs> but right now I haven't gotten bored of the same toppings so far. Here's some sweet chilies or sweet uh, peppers. They're really good. And some carrots. And then this is half an apple. All right, and so for dressing, I'm feeling lazy today, so I'm just gonna put this strawberry balsamic vinegar on it. I absolutely love this. It's naturally sweet, tastes like strawberry, and so I don't mix it with anything. I just drizzle this right on top of that. I will link it in the description box for you guys so that you guys can check it out. Thank you. 
gorgeous salad and again that balsamic vinegar is a, the strawberry balsamic I will link it for you guys this one and the peach balsamic are my absolute favorites they're the ones I order over and over um, I will link both of them if I could only choose two these two are the ones that I would go with you guys will see if you go to their website how many flavors they have and I have not had one that I haven't liked but strawberry and peach are my absolute favorite and if I could only pick one, I would pick the peach. All right, so I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I gotta go work outside. We've got a lot to do. We have um, irrigation being trenched starting tomorrow for the orchard and the front part of the property. So we've got a lot of things we have to get ready still for them to be able to come and do that. So need to eat and get my energy up. <laughs> Okay guys, Q&A time. So I posted on my social media that I was going to do a get to know me segment in my next video, which is this one. So to ask me your questions about things that you want to know about me personally to get to know me. So this is it. I'm not going to be answering like nutrition questions and like how to lose weight questions, but I will take note of those and answer them and work them into other videos, especially the maximum weight loss videos. I can't answer all the questions you guys were awesome. You sent me lots of questions, but I will answer um, a few of them and maybe we can do this again. If you guys like this, we can do this um, in some upcoming videos. Okay. So first question, how old are you? I am 36. What is your nationality? I am Mexican American, so my dad is Mayan Indian from the Yucatan Peninsula, and my mom is a tall white American woman, and she met my dad on her high school Spanish trip um, down in Mexico, and long story short, uh, they married and had me. And I did spend the first few years of my life in Mexico. My parents lived down in the Yucatan. Spanish is my first language. Do I have siblings? I do. I have one younger brother. He is about two and a half years younger than me and he lives in Florida with his family. And I miss my nieces. How long have I been married? I have been married 16 and a half years. Hard to believe. It's gone by fast. How did you learn to garden? Girl, I am still learning to garden. I I, I don't feel like I have learned to garden. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I just kind of picked a spot on the homestead and we just dug it out and <laughs> added some compost and then planted seeds. I, I have zero idea of how to maintain any of it or what to do and I just figure I'll learn as I go. Um, can you please show us more of your house and your property? Yes, I definitely will be doing that. I will be getting to a house tour here soon. It's We've just been so busy with the cookbook I'm working on and we have irrigation going in to the orchard and we had to plant the orchard and we've got tons going on, but I definitely will be doing a house tour for you guys and showing you more of our property and where we live. So where do you live? I live in Northwestern Colorado. Love it, love it here. We are crazy about the mountains. So it's, it's a dream come true that we were able to 
get out of the city and downsize and buy this property and just be right where we want to be. What does your husband do? So my husband is an electrical engineer for a big um, engineering company and I don't know what that means. I He's an engineer, he's extremely intelligent and engineer minded and I am a fluttering artist. <laughs> so. What did you do before YouTube? Um, so I actually have not worked in several years. Once we started having kids, I have been fortunate enough to be able to stay home with them. Um, before that, I went to school for Spanish teaching and so I was a Spanish teacher for only two years. Cause then I started having babies and I really enjoyed staying home and taking care of them. But what I learned in those two years of teaching is that I did not like teaching. So I knew like I would never go back, go back to that. So since then I've mostly been at home and then take on the odd, you know, interior decorating job or sewing jobs, things like that. I like to be creative and work with my hands. So, you know, I've kind of just done odd things here and there. I've heard you say a few times that you're working on a cookbook. When is your cookbook coming out? So, I am pushing really hard, yes. I have been working really hard the last few months on um, a cookbook and we are pushing hard to be able to get it up and out to you guys here in the next few months. So keep an eye out. I will you know, keep announcing to you guys as we get closer. Um, it's just, it's all about time and resources. So, but it's coming, you know, it's not like a year away, it's like, you know, hopefully only just a few months away. Okay, what are your hobbies and interests? So I love anything outdoors. I love to be in nature, hiking, biking, snowboarding, you name it. I love to sew clothing for myself and my daughter. I also love playing the piano and playing my guitar. All right, well, that is it for today. Yeah, and if you guys liked it, we'll do it again. All right, so for the spring rolls, I'm just gonna prep a bunch of veggies and then I'll show you how to pull it together. These are white rice noodles just because my kids love having them and all you have to do is soak them in hot water or just give them a quick boil and strain them. My kids love putting these in their spring rolls. So I'm going to show you how I wrap them and then I'm going to let everybody else wrap their own. All right, so this is extremely simple. All you're gonna need are some rice paper wrappers and they come in brown rice as well and they come in different sizes and this is what they look like. And all you're gonna do is dip them in some warm water and you don't want them to get too soggy. You just want them to soften up. And then you're just gonna fill them. And then to fold, you just want to, and I am not a good <laughs> folder or wrapper here. I'm not real good at this, but you just fold in both sides and then fold, roll it over, and that's it. So for the dipping sauce, I use this low-fat powdered peanut butter. I will link it in the description box for you guys, and I will also put the recipe in the description box. But all I do is add some of this powdered peanut butter, and then I add some water to reconstitute it. like that until it becomes a peanut butter consistency again. 
And then I used to add a tablespoon or two of low sodium soy sauce, but it is too salty for us anymore. So I actually don't add it, but you can add it if you want. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of maple syrup and a tablespoon of rice vinegar. And then we like a little coconut extract in ours, but you can leave that out. And then the juice of the lime. And that makes a really yummy dipping sauce. And my husband and I will add this sambal olek, which is just a chili paste, to ours because we like it spicy, but I leave it out for the kids. Yeah. All right, you guys are doing great. Thanks. Okay guys, there you have it. It's super gorgeous and delicious and so filling. So I did make some shiitake rice and this is super simple. I just cook brown rice in the Instapot and then I water saute some shiitake mushrooms with garlic and then I mix in some rice and green onions. And then all we do to season that is put a little teriyaki coconut aminos on it. They also have a garlic sauce one, which I really like. And again, I'll put this chili paste, it's called Sambal Olek. It doesn't have any oil, so pay attention because some of the chili paste in the store do have oil in them. This one does not, and I will put that in the dipping sauce and in the shiitake mushroom rice as well. It just gives it a really nice spicy Asian flavor. do for this um, ice cream this chocolate cherry ice cream is I'm gonna take two frozen bananas and I like to chop them up because then they blend easier in the blender okay so I'll just add the bananas to this Whoop. and then I'm gonna put just some frozen cherries in And then one tablespoon of cocoa powder. And then I just add a little soy milk to that. I didn't put the lid on. <laughs> Dang it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So make sure you guys put the lid on really well first because it's all over. All right, take two. All right, and there's some chocolate cherry ice cream. should see the rest of my kitchen. I think I still have chocolate on my nose. Did you get it on you? Oh, yeah. oh it's all over my shirt. All right. All right, so there's the chocolate cherry ice cream and you saw it was a nice easy banana base. I forgot to measure out my one ounce of nuts for the day because I was really busy. So I just chopped up some walnuts and threw those on top and it is so good. I just love having that little crunchy texture on there. So this will be my dessert slash before bedtime snack. All right guys, so that is it for today. Remember to make this journey about health and not just about the skinny. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.